Hi Gemini's, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do your weeklies from 18th till 24th of January 2021 and we will see what are the guidance messages for you in this week. All right. So to book a personal reading by me, you can DM me or message me on my Facebook or Instagram page by the name The Magical Aura or you can also click the link for both of my accounts which is given in the description box below and this is going to be a general reading it may or may not resonate with all of you take what resonates take what doesn't okay and leave the rest so let's see what is there for my gemini's this week please gemini energies this week Gemini's energies, please. And more. All right. So we have, we are the world letting go and existence. Okay. So many of you are still dealing with the past energies you are still like you know in the past waiting for somebody to come back or just not able to let go of whatever happened with you you know you you might be happy in the in the uh how to say this like in front of the world you are the most happiest person ever it's like you don't even have any problems you are not dealing with any problem you don't have any problems no issues in life it's like you are the best person you are the um you know that of the party how to say this um, you're the charm of the party if you do not enter if you don't come to a party the party does not stop uh, starts that feeling you know that is the i really get it from this card it's like it's only you always you are very important to people but it only comes the importance only comes when it's the happy times and what about the sad times when you need someone is there anyone with you no you are like sitting there alone waiting you know, even asking about your existence might not be even knowing what your existence is. Why are you existing? Okay, so see, 10 and 10 I have got over here, and it's like people. People just see you from outside. Nobody can enter what you are feeling from inside. They don't know what you're going through. You don't, you have not let go of some things. My dear Gemini is what it is. You really need to let go. You know, you are picking up a large amount of stress over here. See, 10 of wands. You are picking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wands. It's really heavy yeah but you're not able to release that why you have to let go this week is a perfect week for you to let go of those things and to enter towards something new the fool always tells us about new beginnings so this is something are you ready for this beginning are you or not you have to decide it you will decide it then only you will be able to move forward otherwise you know new beginnings they won't mean anything until unless you won't let go of the past people you might be meeting new people this week might be new a new job new beginning towards something anything it can be you know joining a new college school doing something new and you are happy for that thing but still there is something inside you which is actually oh how to say this which is actually not not meant for you something you feel that it is not meant for you you feel it you feel it 
Let's see why are this we are the world over here. The Emperor and King of Swords. Alright, so we have the King and the Queen of Swords. So this might be about a lot of mental stress over here. Um, yes, being a Gemini, a pure air sign, you are like, you know, your, your intellect, your mind is very fast. You take decisions really quickly. That is why you are the love for people around you. People love you because of your instant decision making skills. But what is the decision which you are still not letting go of? There is something. What it is? Ten of Wands. Why is it here? Sorry. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Six of C, C, Six of Swords. You haven't even let go of that thing. You could have left it long back. You could have moved forward long back, but you haven't. Okay, why the letting go sign is here? Why? Two of cups, all right. So is this a love relationship with someone? Someone you are not able to let go? Two of cups is the soulmate energy, somebody with whom you used to date kind of an energy, somebody with whom you felt you were complete. And now the new one, you're not able to sync with this new person the way you used to sync with that person. Let's see. Yeah, you're still confused. I'm seeing illusions in your head. You are like, where I am entering? It's the delusion. It's the vision which is unclear till now. Okay, so why the existence card is there? Queen of Cups. So you had a feeling of, you know, you, you knew that you existed. There was a time you knew that you are loved. You used to love people. There was a lot of love, but now you are empty. You don't know why you exist now. From the Queen of Cups, you have become the Queen of Swords. From the loving person, you have become the hating person. Not exactly hating, but it is more about, um, no, I am not into that love zone anymore. I am me. I am an intellectual person. I won't take any decisions from my heart. I will take decisions from my brain. So you have lost, lost that love thing. You have lost that heart in you. You know, something, because of something, the love is gone inside you because of this person might be. See how you are still looking towards, your heart is still there. Your mind might not be, your heart is still there. Why the Queen of Swords is here? Okay, see, Five of Cups. Sadness, regrets, they are still there. That is why you are not able to move on. You have to let go. This week tells us about to let go. But it's up to you whether you will be able to let go or not. Letting go and starting a new relationship or entering into something new. Letting go and the fool. New beginnings. They are coming towards you no matter what. They will come. It's up to you. Alright, so that is all from my side. Gemini's, I hope it helps and we will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye.